We're going to look at the basic <laughs> graph. Of a logarithmic, we're talking about logarithmic functions, you need to understand this. <laughs> it's the same restrictions as what we had on exponentials. Uh, a has to be um, greater than zero, but A cannot equal one, so make sure we understand that. And let me tell you what your key points are. Yeah, my crazy college, don't. Like, I can even remember my college days. Man, I was so studying all the time and getting good grades. I did, yeah, I did this crazy thing called going to class and doing the work and getting a degree in less than 10 years. What are you doing? What are you trying to say? I'm just saying, um, stupidly, I got done too soon. I should have stayed in school. That way I wouldn't have to, I would not have had to, to get out into the real program. world. No. See, I got done too quickly. And then I had to go to the real world. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I, I got to do stuff? <laughs> yeah, this isn't fun anymore. Stay in college as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> because once you get out, you have to start paying back things. Uh -oh. Now, we talked about key points for the exponentials, right? For your exponential, your key points were negative 1, 1 over a. 0, 1, and 1a. One Those were your key points, right? right? For your logarithmic function, I said it's the inverse, right? That means your key points will be this. 1 over a, negative 1. 1, 0, and a, 1. So exponential, this is what you had. This is what it will be for the log. What was the domain for your exponential? Uh, all real numbers. And what was the range? Uh, parentheses zero infinity. Okay. And you had a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero, right? right? If the log is supposed to be the inverse of this, right. everything is flipped around, so that means that my domain is now what? My range is all real numbers because I said your domain becomes your range, your range becomes your domain. So what's your hop? Mm -hmm. You don't have one. If I change my x's to y's and y's to x's, you have a vertical. This is going to give me a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. Which means for my logarithmic functions, I have this guy right here. So this is the connection we have between exponential and logarithmic functions. Now if we look at the very specific example of f of x equals log to the base 2 of x. Let's find our key points based on a logarithmic function. What is my base? What did I just write? My, my base is 2, right? See, I, I wrote this here. It, it's pretty in pink. <laughs> so my logarithmic function says if you do 1 half comma negative 1, that's a point. So here's 1 half comma negative 1. You always have the point 1, 0. So here's 1, 0. And this says if you do your base comma 1, that's a point. So what's my other point? My base, comma, 1. No, no, one over a. It's one half. The 1 over a. Your a, my base is 2. Okay. So it means I have the point 1 divided by 2, or 1 half, comma, negative 1. I have the point 1, 0. And I have the point a, 1. So that's 2, 1. It may be difficult to see where the rest of these points are going to go, but watch this. What is your distance between this asymptote and this point? Uh, what about here? One. What about here? Okay, so, one. so from 1, and this is a distance of 2, what do you think is going to happen if I go up another unit? If I go up another unit? 
This is a lot like the exponential functions that we had, except instead of going out one unit and doubling that, I'm going up and I'm doubling the distance I'm going from the horizontal asymptote, or from the vertical asymptote. So let's connect these points so we can see what we have here. Now this guy is going to ride right along this vertical asymptote, but will it cross? No, his domain is zero. 0 to infinity, not including 0. So you can get as close to the y-axis as you want, but you don't get to include that. So again, every step you go up, you're multiplying times 2. Every step you go down, you're dividing by 2. And why am I saying multiplying and dividing by 2? Because that was the base. Because that's your base. If it were a base of 3, would it look that way? No. And so you see how it matches up. with a computer. Now what would happen do you think if my base was one half? 